Previously on Retro Upgrade, we rigged up a 40mm fan because we couldn't get a hold of a 30mm with 3 wires. Here are some alternatives. The kits are quite expensive for what they are. They are just some mounting points and a fan. There are some free options, but it's the same kit. And it doesn't fit the VA zeros because of uh, one main difference and uh, some VA ones that are early like mine. So you see here uh, there is a small metallic tab at the bottom and this prevents from the mod from fitting properly. Like you can see here my model is actually a VA one but it still has the tab. I found a good orientation for a 40mm fan to fit in this case. Like you can see it's under the top. It still interferes with the bottom but the connector is fine as well here. Here is a small demonstration of the interference. You can see the lid is split open. You can push it down and make it uh, work still, but the fan is touching the spring. But it opens and closes fine enough. It doesn't interfere with the blades or anything. Time for some modeling. I always start with a 2D sketch first and put all up all my measurements. I use Krita normally, it's free so and it's like Photoshop. I take a measurement and I write it in. I draw a reference and I write it in. It's a really easy process just to wrap my head around it when I'm designing a new part after based on this. There are a lot of measurements on this because it's not symmetrical in any way except for the fan shroud part. Sorry for the raspy voice, I've been sick the entire week so this is my first day I've been able to record the audio for this video. It's been done a few days now. I really recommend a pen tablet, one of the cheap ones. This one costs 20 euros, it's extremely cheap from Aliexpress. It's a Pablo brand. It makes it a lot easier to draw. If you are going to draw with the mouse, you are going to drive the nuts. So try not to do that. I've been a little absent because I got a new job. Uh, I, as a support technician uh, over the phone I'm working from home but I'm having troubles balancing work and YouTube so I'm going to try to make more videos here you can see I'm trying to replicate the part I drew in uh, Krita with using the measurements I took and I'm going to make a flat test piece first just to line up the holes and uh, the mounting points. That's usually the way to go. Make a small prototype that has all the correct holes in the right place and uh, keep conti continue to change it until it fits. In this case, I forgot to lock a corner. It does happen. Uh, this looks good enough. Just time to extrude it. I know these kinds of things are boring, but I can't skip them over completely because there are people that like this. So I speed it up uh, about 3000% so you don't have to bother with it. If you want to see more, just leave a comment and I can put the entire thing on YouTube for you. 
<laughs> I skipped a uh, good piece of the printing as well. It's like eight minute print. It turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm just taking off the original shroud and putting on my little slot piece. And it actually fits quite nicely. It has some small tabs on the pillars, so I have to design in them as well. But that looks good. So I, I can continue with this drawing and continue adding the shroud now. So I start with the front part. I have the measurements from the original part. So, uh, and then I'm going to replicate the fan that's lying down inside. So let's see. It's a 45 degree angle ish. It's really hard to measure in the box when it's lying down. I have a digital angle meter, but it, it doesn't fit inside the box. So I have to guess the angle. I used a paper template, put it in uh, in between the, the shroud and the fan and check the angle that way. I cut the paper until it fit and then I measured the paper instead on the table. I'm making a little reinforcement support because it looked a little flimsy and the, the, those are the mounting points. This is the first draft. I just eyeballed the shroud. But of course that never works out. <laughs> so uh, this is a failed prototype. This took like 25 minutes to print. As you can see it fits in quite nicely in the spot and the holes are lined up as well but uh, the top of the shroud interferes with the with the case and the angle is not quite right i think i tried that 30 degree angle first but it was too shallow so i need to up it to about 45 And as you can see here, it doesn't go down. Here's my progression of prototypes. Do you like my VFX? So the original part, and I actually made eight prototypes total. I forgot to print two of them. And the last part is in the box already. As you can see, it's still a little open, so I need to redesign the latch. But you actually need to do that with the kit you can buy on internet as well you have to change the latch and this has a small screw to hold the fan in place so nothing moves i have the wire plugged in on the back side so to check interference and that fits fine it's a normal three wire fan i got from richard from uh, learning electronics repair as that you can see it spins freely it's not not binding on anything and it goes down very smoothly I measure the height here just to check how much clearance I need inside just to redesign the la new latch and that's going to be in another video because this took way too long to make <laughs> so we are going to have a next video very soon it's 4.16 millimeters so it's not a lot a lot to shave off so here is the latch, it's kind of thick, here you can see it better. So you can see the spring is on the top and you can actually put it on the side instead and it doesn't interfere as much. And considering how little I need to remove, the highest par part is that little spring holder. And if, if you turn around a caliper that has the right size open, it shows with a little tab that sticks out how much you need to remove. So it was just the top of that. So we are going to move it over here, from here to here. So I'm going to make the exact same latch and uh, design it from scratch and see if that works just moving that. 
otherwise I'm going to make a curve in it uh, so it dodges the fan completely this is one of the kit ones and as you can see it has a cutout because the kits have the fan spun around 45 degrees but it doesn't work on our version because uh, our fan is situated on the other side and the little spring is to the top thank you for watching subscribe and like and see you next time